Welcome everybody. Finally, we are back with more follow-ups. It's been a long time. I have several to record here, but uh, finally they're coming out. Um, so, this one, as you can tell, is a follow-up for From a Basement on the Hill. Final Elliot Smith album, I don't quite consider it to be so. Um, because I don't think that this is among his best. Um, there are some really nice tracks in here, but it definitely feels like he was attempting to go for that Beatles white double album kind of thing. And it's just not all here. It, it's been kind of assembled by a third party, so to speak. Right. So let's go ahead and go track by track on this thing. Um, as you can see, I have it at a 3.5, same as either or and roman candle um so track by track coast to coast um i love the heavy guitars on here uh contrasting with the chord colors it's a really nice opener has the the elliott flair let's get lost is a pleasant bit of indie folk here that signals the likes of bonnie Vare and others on the horizon uh simple but good uh, pretty Ugly Before, nice, mellow, melancholic track, works well as a single, feels a bit figure eight-ish, I think. Um, don't Go Down, some cool guitar here, but the vibe feels a bit off. And I think uh, this is better that, than something like Shooting Star, but it still feels like it's kind of missing a mark. Uh, Strung Out Again, uh, seems kind of Beatles-esque, similar melody work and blues guitar. Not my thing, but uh, maybe others might like this. A Fond Farewell is probably my favorite on the album. Um, quintessential Elliott melodies weaved in and out of the rhythm guitar. Great melancholy track. Uh, King's Crossing, trippy opening that climaxes into an emotional apex. Definitely a highlight on the album. A nice example of a hell heavy Elliott Smith track uh, that works well, I think. Ostrich and Tripping, uh, no rating on this one since it really doesn't need to be here. Um, but it has more plays on Spotify than Shooting Star, which uh, maybe says a lot. <laughs> uh, Twilight, I think, is sublime. Love these subdued minimal tracks in the post-either-or era. I really dig the synth kind of like string thing, whatever it is that plays uh, partway through. Um, a passing feeling, fantastic back half on this one. Right in line with some of the best moments from Figure Eight. Uh, superb melancholy. Last Hour is not bad, but nothing super notable for me here. Um, doesn't stand out a ton, but I wouldn't skip it. Uh, Shooting Star. This just like feels like some kind of failed genre experiment. Um, I could see people enjoying this, but the composition is just really uncomfortable to me. But in a way, I guess that's kind of a cool achievement. Similar to how I felt about Piper at the Gates of Dawn. Uh, like some of the songs almost felt ill or diseased themselves, but I don't necessarily love that as a... a, a trait in this this case uh, memory lane it's okay let's get lost also had a similar guitar tone which i find a bit unpleasant to listen to a little like too chorusy or reverberate or metallic i don't know uh it's an all right song though then little one is another beatles-esque kind of joint here not bad not great it's cool i suppose distorted reality is now a necessity to be free um, I don't find this track all that remarkable. The melody isn't that compelling, and the whole thing kind of lacks the Elliot spice. Um, so that that's how I feel about about the album. Um, favorites would be A Fond Farewell and Twilight with shout-outs to Coast to Coast, Pretty Ugly Before, King's Crossing, um, and A Passing Feeling. So there's definitely worthwhile stuff here that's really good, fantastic Elliot work. Um, but overall... It's just, it's too messy. Um, I think he was trying to pull from different genres that he wasn't quite feeling. At, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know what the problem was and I'm not going to try to figure it out, but, um, yeah, it was a fine album. Glad I listened to it. I thought new moon was better, which that will be the next follow up, but, um, decent, decent set of tracks here. So that's my follow up for from a basement on the hill. I hope you guys enjoyed until next time. Godspeed. Mm -hmm.